If you want me to continue with my work, it is crucial to support the channel via Patreon. Moreover, make sure to subscribe to Bobby's Perspective on Rumble. All the links are in the description box below. May Allah bless you all. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to the Daily Dose of Wisdom. The so-called Daily Dose of Wisdom is a Christian apologetics channel and lately they've been pretty anti-Islam, partnering up with people like David Wood. And a few months ago they uploaded a video called Exposing Islam. Horrifying conversation caught on camera. So I'm very curious to see how the Christian apologist will expose Islam. Finally, after 1400 years, nobody could, but the Christian apologist on YouTube surely will. Guys, before we start the video, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box to further support. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. Four out of five Middle Eastern women are sexually abused between the ages of three and six by family members. As always, they're making very bold claims, of course. I couldn't find any of those statistics. The only thing I could find is the UN Women homepage. And here you see that one in three women worldwide has experienced physical or violence in her lifetime allegedly and here you can see that 14 percent of arab girls marry under the age of 18 boo hoo i say boo hoo because just a few years ago the marriage age was very very different in america nowadays it is 18 19 and 21 in most states However, what we read here is that the minimum underage marriage age, when all mitigating circumstances are taken into account, commonly ranges from 15 to 17. And here you see in colonial America, the minimum marriage age was 12 years for females and 14 years for males under English civil law. So I'm showing you those Western numbers to point out the hypocrisy, of course. But that being said, the statistic four out of five Middle Eastern women are is nowhere to be found of course i mean think about it four out of five that is pretty much every woman so every woman in the middle east has been sexually abused wow. more than half of yemeni girls are married before reaching the age of puberty so yet again let's just throw that out there without providing any evidence whatsoever what are your sources man if you make such claims at least list one study and then it continues there are two thousand child claims in one year in Pakistani Islamic schools, but not even one successful persecution. All right, let's compare this to the United States then. In the United States, 3.6 million cases of child abuse are reported every year in the US. But no, who cares? We are on the moral high ground here. Let's point the finger at the Islamic countries. This is actually Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with Aisha. What's up with that music, man? Uh, he uh, saved her and he uh, married her when um, he, um, she was uh, six years old and uh, he lived with her uh, you know when he when she reached the nine years old and then he had sex with her at that after, after that when she ready yeah when she ready she, she menstruated yeah. at nine and then he had sex when with her. when she ready they know that she is ready they have the physical oh, wow man this investigative the clip you're about to music. watch is a conversation between me and a few muslim imams in the muslim quarter of israel this took place a couple months ago during the course of this conversation i end up getting these guys to admit that islam does in fact teach and polygamy they teach. kind of wiggle around teach. at a few Points. There's some theological gymnastics that take place, but in the end, they do end up coming out with that reality and even admit it in the life of Muhammad himself. So we're going to dig into this. One other preface, I'm not doing this with a intention of harming any individual people. I'm simply <laughs> wanting to expose the ideology of Islam. The worldview itself is what I think is negative. What a weasel, as if we don't see your intentions with that doom and gloom music. I don't have any hatred toward individual people. I don't think the Muslims are bad people. I think that the ideology itself is toxic to the core, and that is what I'm looking to toxic expose, to because I see the people within Islam as victims of Islam. That being said, let's go ahead and dive in. <laughs> Listening to this guy, I think of one clip in particular. Gay! 
<laughs> but I just wanted to be honest that it, it it's the issues around sex and marriage and women specifically the kind of the polygamy and the the what I would call pedophilia that is the hardest piece uh, for me to reckon with. You know, I wouldn't have an issue if this guy would honestly seek knowledge. Those men invited him into their mosque. He's sitting down there for a talk, but he doesn't go there with an open mind. He wants to take his Western worldview and impose it onto them. He wants to look at Islam from his Western worldview and evaluate Islam from his Western mindset. He wants to judge Islam with his preconceived notion of what is right and what is wrong. However, he pretends to be a Christian as they all do, but he's not looking at Islam from a Christian lens. He's looking at Islam from an American, Western, liberal standing point. That's what it is. And it is so extremely hypocritical because as I showed in the beginning already, the marriage age, the age of consent, etc., etc., is consistently changing within the West. So therefore, his whole argument is based upon presentism. Oh, we wouldn't do this today, therefore it must be wrong. Within the Quran, those are the passages that I... Ah, they're hard. Okay. They're hard for me. Hard. Your mind and my mind is limited. The Quran is not limited. Okay? You don't accept it because you don't want to accept it. But there is some things in the Quran you take it as Allah give it to you. The verse that you ask us to, uh, to explain it. Uh, it's their music, you, man. It's also the same stops. That's the woman that they finished the period before 40, 50 years. Or the woman that's under, they didn't start the period. If you have the contract of marriage between you and them, if you leave them, they need to wait also the three months. This is the answer of it. So the answer, you can get married with someone that didn't start the period, yes, but you can't enter with her. Enter, yani, have sexual relation. This is easy to sum. All right, I'm going to try to phrase this here for this video on YouTube. However, if I don't succeed doing that, you will see the uncensored version on Rumble. The Western worldview is based upon Darwinism. You have an evolutionary framework. So if we go by evolution, we cannot talk about morals and ethics because evolution does not care about morals and ethics. Evolution cares about survival of the fittest. So it's all about eat or get eaten, who is the strongest monkey around, and of course procreate. So this is a naturalistic worldview. And just by that naturalistic worldview alone, which the West is based upon, you cannot claim that it is immoral to marry pro or to explain what I want to tell you about you living in now in 2022 so not everything accepted to you was before a thousand years or before Present 2000 years, maybe you don't accept what happened before that. But this is don't mean that what you see wrong is wrong. No, no, no. If, accept, if it's accepted for the people who was living at that, that time, then mean it's accepted. But I thought that these were still practiced today. Uh, isn't isn't it okay to have multiple that wives is, today or no? Is. Again, Western hypocrisy. Yeah, but isn't it allowed to have multiple wives today? Yes, it is. So what? In the West, you can have multiple girlfriends. No worries. If you're a Dan Bilzerian, you can post on Instagram that you're hooking up with hundreds of women day in, day out. Absolutely no problem. Celebrities are celebrated because they have so many girlfriends. Ooh, he's such a player. That is all socially accepted. All of that is a-okay. And nowadays, through feminism, you have girls that call themselves a boss bitch and they have multiple partners as well. They're jumping from one guy to the other seeking happiness. So you marry a woman that has sex with 10 men or even more and you don't blink an eye. That's absolutely amazing, right? But if there is a man that can take care of four wives and he provides for them equally, he makes all of them into honest women, providing food, taking care of the children, working for those women and leading all of them to the worship of one God, practicing Islam together, having religious households, right? No, that is evil. Look at evil Islam. What a toxic ideology. I need to expose that. Man, don't you Christians have anything else to do? You need to expose Islam, of course. That is your enemy. No, it's not your environment. It is not America. It is not pop culture. It is not liberalism. It is not feminism. None of it. All of that is absolutely fantastic. It is the pinnacle of civilization. We applaud it. We appreciate 
appreciated. That is great. Not toxic whatsoever, right? Let's listen to Cardi B. Let's drink alcohol. Let's eat junk food. Yay, America is the greatest country on this planet. America. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, not, not accepted. It's needed. It's needed. Fantastic, it's bro. needed in USA more. It's needed in Islamic country for the men to marry for. Exactly. You see, we don't say that it's not. It's accepted and it's needed to solve the problem that you have in your society. You know? Yes, because absolutely. Because you, it's accepted for you to be married and have fair relation with three women. You're doing that. But you, yes. when, it, when it's coming to married, you say, no, I can't get married. For us, we don't have, we can't cheat, but we allow to marry. This is the difference between you. You accept to have a girlfriend, you can go and say, okay, I'm married one. Side check. Three type, uh, three girlfriends. Like a lot of uh, young, beautiful men like you and you say doing it. <laughs> but for us, <laughs> we can't do that. We only get the relation through marriage. This is the answer. The age answer, it's depend on the society. It's depend in the situation. What's up with this music, the man? The guy is just explaining on. factually. Because what accepted oh. now is not accepted before 2000 years. But it you does know? still happen today, right? Like it's, it's Again, you perverted Westerner. I'm ashamed to be associated with the West, man. The Western mind is always hyper-sexualized. Everything must be about sex. Pedophilia, pedophilia. We're talking about marriage. No, pedophilia, pedophilia. So now let's look up the Western definition for pedophilia on Britannica. Pedophilia, also called pedophilic disorder or pedophilia disorder, in conventional usage, a psychosexual disorder generally affecting adults, characterized by sexual interest in pre-children or attempts to engage in acts with pre-children. So by your own definition, this is not what we're talking about. We are talking about marriage and we are talking about sexually engaging within that marriage contract after... <laughs> Like it's it's permissible for a wow. this music no. man as if he killed somebody. You need wow. to approve, it. approve oh. from the city, the government that you live on, and most of the government now they say it's 16 or it says it's 18, and now they try to make it 21. Oh. So yeah, you go to the 30. court, you want to get married, they tell you no, you don't need to wait because this oh. is okay. And so the, the other the, thing, the legal is almost getting in the way of the Quran in some, in a little bit. Yes. Gotcha. So the legal system is getting in the way of the Quran a little bit, huh? Isn't it? <laughs> How can you be so stupid? How can you be so removed from your own religion? Your Bible goes against your constitution as well. In Leviticus, we read, If a man also lay with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them so now to quote you it's almost as if the law is going against the bible <laughs> and in other way which is more important for me yes it's the doctors the the woman the the girl in age 10 years old now physically it's not the same of the 10 years old before a thousand year you see you can go and uh, there is many of the queen of your queens or the queens of Europe married in 10 years old. Exactly. You, see? you can He doesn't care. And find it. He doesn't it's care. He's going to pour doom music we onto your speech and that's it. Earlier and earlier nowadays like aren't you need to ask or the no. You need to ask the doctor. At least in about America, I know it is. People in America are getting yes. their Scan periods. Scandinavian uh, countries. Yeah. She is 20 years and she didn't get her period. You see? But in America, there's some 10 year olds that are getting their periods. But in America, but in America, the, the world has to be like America. Otherwise, period. it's not on our standard. America, though. God said in the Quran, We should ask uh, those for special, for, for example, something about health, you should ask doctor. And after that, after that question of the doctor, the scholar of the Islam is answering what the doctor is asking, uh, you know, answering him about it. Uh, the Islamic scholar is building on the answer of the doctor. 
and the Islam is coming to save the health. Okay, it mm -hmm. can't. It's against. Um, you know, it's um, uh, it's not acceptable for Muslims anything that you know um, uh, touching your health, like smoking, like drunk alcohol, uh, drugs, all things. You know, also as sexual things that touching the health, it's forbidden in Islam. Yeah, he doesn't care for that. The Muslim tells him, listen, in Islam, it is prohibited to consume alcohol, any type of drugs, anything that is destroying your health, any sexual relations outside of marriage, all of that is prohibited. He's gonna say, who cares? Multiple women though. It can't be accepted. Amazing. So See? the first important thing to protect is the health of the human. This is in Islam. So if the marriage affect the girl in her health, this is what the doctor says. You need to wait. If he tell you you need to wait, oh, after it was so much better years, without the music. Now he's playing it again. You see, this is actually Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What do with Aisha? Uh, he uh, save her, and he uh, uh, married. Now we need the music again. Uh, I understand. Uh, um, now we're talking about uh, bad, bad, old. evil, evil and Muhammad. He live with her. Uh, you know when he when she reached the nine years old. Did they get sex with her after, after, after that? When she reached. Yeah. When she ready, she, she menstruated at nine and then yeah, exactly. when, yes. when she ready, and they know that she is ready, they have the physical relation. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Absolutely amazing, this double standard. It does not matter if you present him evidence. You say, hey, within your own societies, within the West, marriage has been way, way earlier than it is nowadays. Your kings, your princes, your princesses, queens, and whatnot, all of them got married at a very, very young age, at 10, at 12, etc. Moreover, the marriage age, the age of consent, was consistently shifting. So what are you basing? it upon he will give you no answer at all he just wants to point the finger then you can tell him that within christianity you don't have any age of consent nor any legal marriage age nothing whatsoever if you look into those biblical figures you can find out as well that they were very very young when they got married but none of it matters because his whole interrogation here with his doomy music was based upon presentism and this is something that the muslim man there called him out upon as well he said hey man just because nowadays it is not practiced as such doesn't mean that therefore it is correct but he completely ignored that point as well which makes him a hypocrite it is a humongous double standard of course your bible would not condemn what muslims practice quite the opposite your bible would affirm pretty much everything that muslims practice it's quite amazing to see that muslims actually follow your bible better than christians do because christians hold on to the whole bible call the Old Testament, the Old Testament, something from the past, and ignore the whole bit, even though we find God's law, the Mosaic law, within the Old Testament. But all of a sudden, that does not matter at all anymore. Now it is all about love. Now we love our neighbor, and we do not care about that evil, evil Old Testament in which God revealed laws. And we believe as Christians that God is Jesus. So Jesus revealed those laws. But now we're not going to listen to Jesus, right? It is such a hypocritical stance but if it would be at least coming from a christian standpoint his argumentation then i would say all right interesting we have somewhat of a discussion here but that is not the case this man is not a christian because he's not looking at the talking points from a christian perspective but from an american perspective as i said from a western perspective from a pop culture perspective from a liberal perspective call it what you will this is the modern zeitgeist where people abandon their religion they have no clue anymore they cling on to certain aspects of their religion but only if it goes into conformity with the present zeitgeist with the current times yet again this is presentism at the moment you should get married at 18 if you're 17 you are a pedophile that's it as if there is not one <laughs> In some states, it's 21. Yet again, how does this make sense? In many states, you can drive the car before you can get married. You can have casual sex. The age of consent is lower than the marriage age. Don't you see what they're doing to you, man? They're perverting a whole society successfully. And they have succeeded, of course. Now you see something evil within Islam. 
Islam that prohibits evil, that prohibits the consumption of alcohol, the consumption of drugs, theft, adultery, etc., etc., you name it. All of that you don't see and you focus on, yeah, well, but you can have four wives, can't you? Ooh, wow, so evil. Please don't educate your children of the dangers of pop culture, of music, and how it is cool now to hook up and go to prom and whatnot. No, don't educate your children on that. Please tell them how evil Islam is. I'm sure the West will succeed. All right, guys, and that's it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to further support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys, and as always, may God bless you all. All much love and peace.